What's up guys, Colin here, and I'm going to show you guys today Coinbase, and I just signed up for Coinbase, and I think it's a great online wallet, and you can buy and sell uh, cryptocurrency here, you can store it, you know, it's got a lot of good security features, you guys may have heard of it in the news recently, they're having a fight with the IRS right now, I guess about anyone storing over $20,000 of cryptocurrency. But um, yeah, let me just show you guys. I just signed up for Coinbase and I just transferred some Bitcoin over right now. So I'll just kind of show you what I did to get set up and what I think of it. So basically, when you come to Coinbase, you go to coinbase.com right up here. And then uh, what you're going to do is come over here and go to sign up where it says sign up right here. Click on sign up. You're going to type your name, you know, your last name. I'm just making up one right here. You know, Bob Anderson, Gmail, blah, blah, blah. I'm not a robot. And then once you do that, you're going to press create an account. And once you've created an account, it's going to look, it's going to basically, you're going to go into your email, you know, whether, you know, make sure you remember your email, you're going to go into it. And then it's going to ask you for your phone number. And you're going to have to put your phone number in here. And the, the reason why they want you to put your phone number in here is because uh, they wanted to have like a two step authentication process so you know just like right here it gives you a verification you put it in put verified and then once you get to that point you should be at the point where you're you're into your wallet you're gonna get to a dashboard and this right here is your dashboard and so it's gonna basically when you come here it's gonna show you the current uh, value of Bitcoin like right now it's at eleven thousand five hundred and fifty two you know it went up four thousand since last month you know, it'll show that. It'll show, if you come over here, let me enlarge the screen a little bit. Sorry, guys, the screen's not that large right here. But you have, you know, you can check it out by hour, by day, by week, by month, by year. You know, you can you can see the fluctuations of when it, you know, what the price is. And uh, what, it, what it's going to ask you to do when you're on Coinbase, it's going to ask you to confirm your email. That's one step I did. Enter your phone number. And then it's going to say add payment method. It wants you to add a bank card to buy and sell, you know, Bitcoin. And to complete that, you're going to have to put on, you know, either a bank card, an ATM debit card, which uh, it's going to charge two micro transactions. And then when it charges those transactions, you're going to have to go onto your bank statement and then, um, you know, write, write what charges they did. Like basically verify, you know, on your bank and then write it down on there. Or you can um, set up your ATM card. And it'll charge you right there, or you can, you know, do their bank process, which is, uh, let me show you. I think it's right here on accounts. Or it's right here. Yeah, see so right here, right? When you go to buy and sell, it wants you to add a payment method or uh, sell, add, or withdraw a payment method. So I'm going to do this in a little bit, but what I, I don't want to show you guys my bank account information, but what I am going to show you is what I just did. And what I did is I came over here, and as, as you can see, there's I've received Bitcoin pending. So what I did, I, I came to Bitcoin, I, print, I clicked on receive. And when you click on receive, this is going to be your wallet address that you're going to send the Bitcoin to. What I do is, you know, if you have a QR code, you can use your iPhone. But I just used, you know, this little link right here, pressed, you know, uh, I just basically selected it. And then, you know, I came right over here. And say if you have a wallet, I use the Jacks the Jacks wallet. You know I, what? What I'm gonna do is open a tab, and then I'm gonna wait for my Jacks wallet to pop up. Let's give it one second. Sometimes uh, if you use like an online wallet, it takes a minute to pop up. See there it goes. And then uh, you know whatever wallet you use, or you know if you're sending from an ATM, or you know you can do it from you know wherever you're wherever you're getting it from. I'm, Basically, I just came over here and I put in, you know, I sent one dollar for my Jack's wallet. I put it into USD. This is another good wallet you can use, and I click sent. And then I came over here, and, and what it's doing is it's pending and waiting for me to, you know, receive it. So once you have that, then you have uh, you're storing your Bitcoin online, and uh, you know, this is your profile up here on the right. You got your settings, your contacts. You can even invite a friend. So if you invite someone to this, you know, if they spend over $100, then you guys get $10 free of Bitcoin. And uh, you can share your link with someone, which is right here. So going back to this, let me 
me show you guys something here. So going back to this, we also have tools. You know, it shows basically your addresses of, um, this is all the addresses that you've used. You know, I used this two minutes ago. It's just showing that I've sent and received from here. These are reoccurring transactions where you like, you know, you can set up, you know, if you want to schedule a payment for rent or something like that, you'll see them all in here. These are reports. You got your history. Um, you also got basically your settings right here. You can change your picture. You got your email. It's gonna let. It's gonna ask you a couple, like, a couple different things on here. You got preferences, and um, you know that's just just to show you what you want. You got security. This is a big one. It makes you makes you basically you can um you want to make sure you set up this uh two factor method. I haven't set it up yet, but it it basically uses your phone to help you verify every time you make a purchase. You can uh, link your accounts. Um, you got API, it tells you the limits you have. I don't have any widgets because I just started. This is my brand new account, so I'm kind of just showing you guys what I've learned so far. But yeah, once, once you have your balance right here, you're gonna, um, it's going to show your balance of what you have. So if you look right here, I just did a dollar into Bitcoin, but it's not showing. So it, when I do have it, when, I, when it does, the pending does go through, there will be a dollar right here. But yeah, your portfolio is right here. You'll have your accounts. You know, you click on any of these ones to, you know, buy or receive. And then the sending is not available right now because I have to confirm my account first. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. This is your whole wallet, guys. That's a quick run through. And um, that's just giving you guys a quick rundown of just, like, what I've learned just, you know, doing this real quick. And what, what you can do on here is... Um, yeah, store your Bitcoin, buy and sell. You know, I also recommend uh, you know doing the Exodus wallet, doing Jax, you know, checking out all the wallets that are available. And yeah, that's it. Um, definitely, you guys follow me on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. Just click the link down below, and uh, you know, send me a message on Facebook. You know, let's connect. And um, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos, and I'd love to, you know, hear from you guys of what you do. You know, I, I'm I'm more into like the mining Bitcoin, getting paid for mining, joining mining pools, and I'll put a link in the description too if you guys want to see what I do. But uh, yeah, that's it. Um, definitely, definitely, Coinbase is not a bad one. Just uh, you know, I say be careful of storing all your money on this one because it's all online where the Jax wallet and the other ones, or the Exodus wallet, it stores on your desktop. So it's probably better to, you know, not have it all go through this kind of US party that like the government watches sometimes. It's better to have, uh, you know, diversify and put, uh, put a lot of your money elsewhere because you don't want the government coming in and like making $20,000 in Bitcoin and then being like, oh, you didn't get taxed on that. So, you know, you want to store your Bitcoin other places. But yeah, follow me, follow me on YouTube. Uh, hit me up on Facebook and uh, thanks for watching guys. Bye